Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to go around and check up on all of the bur oaks that I've planted. I planted 12 bur oaks last year. Those were four to five foot trees, I believe. And I think they were one to, no, one to two foot this year, something like that. And I planted 25 of them. And I don't know, this one right here is the furthest one on the road. So I think there's four along the road, maybe five. So I'll just go in order. And it looks like we have a leaf coming out right there. Hopefully I got this aimed right, but it's not out yet. Oh, it looks like there's one coming out at the tip too. So actually this one might still be alive, but it's not doing super well. All right, I'm gonna weed this one and get on to the next one. All right, this is number two along the road. And I don't think this one made it. I'm gonna pull this grass, get it out of here, and then move on to the next one. This one might come. Looks like there might be some hints of green along the stem, but this top part is definitely dead. All right, let me weed this and get over to the next one. All right, this is the third one from the far end. And it certainly has growth, but it does not look good. I don't know what's wrong with it. Does it have some kind of blight? Looks like it was uh, chewed on by something, but it looks like it has more problems than that. <sighs> Again, iffy. So far, none of the trees along the road look very good. Yeah, they didn't have any uh, of the bigger trees like I planted along the road, and we'll check on them as well, but Geez, these are not doing well. And I was really unhappy with this year's order. I mean, some of them were just like six, eight inches long. Um, if you count the roots, I guess they were longer than that. And maybe that's how they, they gauge the size of bare root trees. It would be a stupid way to do it, but maybe that's how they do it. I can't remember, was it Coldstream? Uh, yeah, Coldstream Farm. And they're, I believe they're in Michigan, that's it. Okay, that was three, here's four, and then there's five, and then there's one right on the other side of the ravine. So there's basically six on this side of the road. See how number four is doing. That one looks much better. So far we haven't seen any that are doing good. But this one is better than the last. And it, I don't know, it appears, it's not dehydrated. And it has a couple decent leaves. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup around this and then We'll head to the next one. Still at that same tree. I need to get back and hack and squirt this tree right here. Seems to have been missed. Yeah, there's no marks on it. And then I believe I'll just cut that one out. That'll give this one more light. But I uh, got rid of most of the stuff around it. I also need to cut out this dead gooseberry just because it's you know kind of in the way. Otherwise, I could walk through here to the next one, but I'll get there. 
Okay, this one is the one that is just to the west of the head of the ravine right here. There is a matching one on the other side. We got garlic mustard, and that's touch me not. I just found out that the touch me not is an invasive species as well, so got that going for me. This one was in the deepest tangle of junk. If you've seen the video, we pulled all that stuff out of here. It was just a huge mess. You could see all the grapevines. All the trees were held together with grapevines and just a huge mess. There's a fair amount of light that gets in here, but these couple trees over here and those elms right there are getting taken out so this will be in full sun pretty soon and looks like we have one that'll make it i just gotta pull a few weeds and on to that next one you can kind of see it right through there okay right behind the shelter and the shed and the ravines right there here is the first one along the road and Again, it's kind of dwarf, but I think it's going to make it. Yeah, I guess that one's okay too. Now we have the ones on the other side of the road. And they started out to be the best of the trees. So let's see how these did. I really got to get in here and take all these little trees out and stuff. But I don't think I'm going to do it this year. I mean, they'll be just as easy to take out next year. And I really don't have the time to deal with them this year. There's a ton of them, but they'll be easy to cut out. Okay, this is the last tree in the row here. And it's severely bit up, but it looks fairly healthy. I don't know. That's about all I can say for it. All right, these are going to get mulch around them. So all I really need to do is pull some of the weeds right around it. And then I'll spray with glyphosate anything that comes up through the mulch. So let me get that done. And then we'll head on to the next one, which does not look like it's even alive. Okay, this is the second furthest one. And those buds, they look like it might still be alive but i don't know i don't have much faith in this one and this was a big one with a nice root and everything they're all planted the same i do a damn good job of planting them so that's not the problem okay the next one i can definitely see some leaves on much better still eaten up pretty bad but I mean I can spray these too and I probably should yeah this one doesn't look bad I've been watering these if they're not getting a full inch of rain a week I've watered them so they've been taken care of I don't expect plants to do real well in their first year but these are doing worse than I would have expected but I think this will make it. We'll see. All right. This is the second one from the road. Second one in. And it seems a little dehydrated. And that appears to be just a bare root thing. Once it starts growing its roots, um, they generally perk up pretty well. We'll go see the first year ones in a little bit. But if they're not healthy to start with, I don't know. Yeah, that looks kind of weird, this, this whole top part. Maybe this top part's going to die and it'll grow better down here. Who knows? We'll see a little bit later. I've never planted anything this small before. So, only time will tell. Get right. And the first one. 
this was the best plant out of the lot. We got 25 plants and this one has, again, almost like a flower of tiny little leaves. And my guess is that, you know, it's only growing these tiny little leaves to get enough energy from the sun to create roots. I hope that's what it's doing. And then once it has enough roots, the leaves will get a bit bigger. Again, the first year is really hard on bare root trees, so we'll have to watch them and see how they do. And again, I water these if it's going to be dry out. And these have been fully watered, so that is not the problem. Okay, this is the first one along the road. And it's growing really well, and... It's got good shape, the whole nine yards, but it looks like it has disease. I mean, it's been eaten by something, but this yellowing is really concerning. Yeah, some of the leaves are completely bitten off, you know, chewed right down to the stem. I don't know what's doing that. I think I'm going to spray this stuff. I'll spray it with a fungicide and seven and see if I can get yeah this is more what they should look like without the holes in them we'll see if they're all like that otherwise this is like getting a beautiful shape and like this branch right here is a good 10 inches long they're supposed to grow about a foot a year they're the slowest growing of all the oaks but they get to be the biggest of all the oaks yeah, other than this diseasey looking stuff and really bad chewing, and that has to be a bug. It's not a deer. A deer will bite the whole leaf off. Something's eating my plant, and some kind of fungus is attacking it. Okay, I guess the verdict is both good and bad. The tree's doing well, but something in the area is trying to do harm to it. All right, let's look at that next one. There was a tiny little start of a nest in there. I had to take it out of there. This is, it's got the same issues as that one. Something's been eating it and it's yellowing from some kind of disease. I don't know if I should wait until after the rain. I mean, it's gonna rain for two days. But it's already too late today to spray this. If I spray it, it'll be washed off. So, yeah, kind of sucks. I guess I'll get in here right after the rain and spray these. It'll be nice if they perk up. That does not look good right there. Okay, mailman's here. This tree, this is number three along the road here, has one hell of a hook to it, and it came like that. It's It's got a weird... I don't know how they grew this, but it's got one type of bark here and another type down there. Almost like it was grafted right here. But I don't think these are grafted. Maybe it is. But this one has, you know, a good amount of chewing on it, but less, less of the disease. But so far they all have the disease. And that brings us to number four, which just has a few leaves down low. This was this way the first year as well. I think this one is going to end up dying, but could be wrong. All right, number five along the road. This one, and I believe it's the only one like this, has like scorch on the end of the leaves. And like that one is completely dead from the scorch, as it here too. And this one's starting. Some of the leaves look, you know, semi okay, but a lot of bitten off stuff as well. Yeah, all in all, none of the trees look really good so far. And again, this was number five, so let's just go to number six right away. Number six, I believe, 
is going to die as well. Again, I could be mistaken, but I mean, that looks like those for all the first year ones, just really distorted growth and black on the ends of the leaves curled up. I really have no idea what is with these trees. This is number six and number four over there. They came from Coldstream like that though, so I have no idea. Again, yellow spots, that generally means fungus. So I will spray these with a systemic fungicide. And I believe I had to do that last year too, but I'm not gonna be able to keep doing that. So hopefully they get over whatever is ailing them. This one actually looks better than the other ones. It has a lot of new growth up here that's not damaged yet. So hopefully whatever's been eating them is done. This one actually looks better than the rest of them. Still got a lot of uh, biting on it and a lot of disease, but I don't know. And these should be, these leaves should be nice and dark right now. Maybe if I got enough time, I will get these sprayed before the rain. But I believe it would just wash right off. This one here looks better than all the other trees. The color is just so much better, but it still has the spots of fungus and it's still bitten all over the place. So I don't know. I really got to get these sprayed. Um, that one's nine, what is this? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's take a look at nine real quick. Well, more of the same. Yeah, I don't like these spots. They're raised bumps. They kind of look like yellow zits. Kind of nasty looking. And we got a lot of curling. I really got to get these sprayed. All right, this one is 10. Same problems. A lot of biting, a lot of disease, or actually less disease than some of the others and more biting the color isn't all that great and then we got two more here all right these are the trees in the pasture by far the biggest ones this one is now we stand right level with it it is exactly as tall as me so it's about six foot four and it has oh nearly a foot of growth so far this year and again, it's just got the same problems, but it's it's got fairly nice color to it. These should be a nice dark green. So I'm gonna get in here and spray these with a fungicide before the rain, and then I'll spray them in a week or two again and see if I can knock down whatever's on them. They need to get a bit bigger so they're stronger. Then hopefully they can fend for themselves after that. Like I said, I can't spray these every year. If they're not strong enough to survive here, I'll have to go to another plan. And this is the last one, and I believe it's the tallest one. Yep, it's just a hair taller than that last one. And this one appears to be in better shape than all of the other ones. It's got some biting on it, but not all that much. It's got a whole bunch of full leaves that have no biting at all. And it's got fairly good color. Yeah, I would say this one's probably the best. And this one is the one that's directly between our house and our new neighbor's house. So that's a good thing. We need to kind of block the view here. Well, that's good news. All right, there's three more trees over here and then the rest are all down that way. What I'm gonna do is mix up some fungicide and spray these bigger trees then I'll get to the rest of these trees. Okay, I gotta hurry here. This is the first tree next to the neighbor's house, next to the salt pasture. And it just has these tiny little leaves 
and as you can see I just sprayed it. I'll tell you more about this at the next tree. Alright, here is number two along the field. It is completely shriveled and bitten and just looks horrible. Right after I looked at the last of the big trees up there, I went and made this. It's fungicide, the same mix as for the vineyard, plus an insecticide. And I went back and sprayed all of the big trees and everything we looked at earlier. And now I just sprayed that tiny little one down there. And I'm about to spray this one. Um, I just weeded a little bit, but I'll get in here with the brush whacker and weed really well. So I'm kind of going to drench these. And I think I'm just going to put these on a regular spray schedule until they get a decent set of roots, which could be two or three years. But they're just not going to make it this way. All right. I got one more along the line here, and then the rest are all on the other side of the house. All right, this is the furthest one away from the neighbor's house, the third one along the field here. And this one never did look good. It's always looked pretty dead, but I'm gonna spray it anyways, keep the bugs off of it, and hopefully kill any fungus that might be on it, but I don't have any faith in this one. I believe it's dead. All right, let's get at them last ones. Okay, this one is at the end of the yard. It is on the north side of the road going down into the woods, right next to the pet cemetery. This one, the top of it died. And again, everything is really tiny, but I believe that's okay. I think that's just so it can develop roots. So we'll get this baby sprayed. I'll have to get in here and weed this a little bit later because I'm running real short on time. That rain is supposed to come. Eh, don't see any rain clouds yet, but we're supposed to get rain at between 12 and 1 and I believe it's after 11, so I got to get these sprayed as quick as possible. Again, everything is bit off, and that's bug damage. That's not a rabbit or anything. So hopefully this will help. This is the one on the south side of the road. And then next, I'll get the one along the road here. Okay, this one is just a stick. Not much faith in that one doing anything. This one is right at the four-way junction here. And it's the one in the area that Natalie and I cleared earlier in the year. And it had leaves, but they're all bit off. So I think my insecticide is going to help on that. Yeah, these tiny little trees are very vulnerable to insects. Okay, this one is kind of the same way. I'll have to see what the interval is on this insecticide. I could probably just spray straight insecticide for a while until they get some leaves on them. Okay, this one is by the old swing here. And yeah, this one has always been like this, never had any leaves. But again, we'll see, maybe something will come of it. Okay, and then there is actually one. All right, this one is right by the round pen, right by the gate actually. And again, not looking too hot, but hopefully this helps. All right, I'm going to go grab the gator and I have, I believe, three down there. There's actually four, but one I believe is dead, but it's going to get sprayed anyways. It may make a comeback. 
I doubt it, but it may. Just thought I'd stop and show this. This is the road we had made last year. Just came in and dozed it out. This helps so much having this little road here going right to the back of the house. And this is the area that Natalie and I cleared earlier this year. I gotta get back in here again and knock down all this broadleaf stuff, the invasives and the stuff that was growing here. But other than that, it looks beautiful. All right, let's get these trees sprayed. While I'm here, I'll show you what I sprayed with. Mancozeb, Malathion, and Mycobutano, which is, this is Eagle brand, but that's straight Mycobutano. Okay, just a quick one on this. This is the one in the corner by the road, the cul-de-sacs right here, right next to the vineyard. It's never had a leaf, probably dead, but gonna spray it anyways. All right, the vineyard is right there, and I'm just a bit down the rock road. And this is the tree at the edge of the woods. That's the one in the woods. And then we got one along the road down here. This is by far the best tree yet. It's been eaten on a bit, but most of the leaves are intact. All right, I'm gonna get this one sprayed and then head in there and check that one. Okay, and then in the woods, this looks a lot like the other ones. Just terrible. Dried out, yellowing, bitten. I mean, that looks pretty bad. All right, let's get it sprayed. All right, this is the very last one. That's that really nice one along the rock road. And this is the one right next to the rock road. And it doesn't look all that bad. Not much biting at all. I think this one's gonna make it, but I'm gonna have to keep these on a spray schedule until they get much bigger. All right, let me get this last one sprayed. All right, I'm all done with the trees and I was on my way back and I found this. Ah, just great. It's like the perfect spot to mess me up. Yeah, the roots finally get rotten enough that these things fall over. They lose their top way beforehand. And then that big wind we had, oh, I don't know, four or five days ago, must have finally pushed this thing down. So I'm going to have to get the chainsaw and get this out of the way. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do a bunch of trees on that road up there. But that's going to be in at least two days after the big rain that's coming. It'll be at least three days because it's going to have to dry out a little bit. I am parked right on a water bar. And where is the rock road? The rock road is just as it S's right there. The rock road goes that way and then it goes down. And I can see another tree down, uh, halfway down there. Well, that's not halfway, a quarter of the way down. So, a lot of work coming up. All right, so if you wanna see that and updates on all the trees and stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you give us a thumbs up and or share the video, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.